Welcome to Paladin. Uh, this is a Linux distribution uh, put out by Samuri. It's for law enforcement and you can also purchase it. Uh, it's got a really nice little forensic toolbox built in. Uh, you can see that it's got an imager and a device manager. Whichever distribution of Linux you're using probably has a device manager also. So if you're in Kane or if you're in Kali or in Deft, you've got um, some kind of a device manager like this where you can go in and see uh, the, the list of your devices. Uh, of course you can do that by just listing your devices from the command line. I'm not really an adept command line guy so I like GUI interfaces to be really honest with you. If we scroll down here you can see I've got SDD1. Uh, that's a volume on device SDD. And what I'm trying to do here is is unmount it so that we can remount it as a um, read only, or I'm sorry, a read write device. And that's the beauty of Linux is you can designate when you mount the device if you want it to be read, uh, read write or read only. And I want this one to be read, uh, read write because this is where I'm going to put my evidence file when I create uh, an image file or a forensic copy of my 2 gigabyte SD card, which you see down there under SDF. So I've got SDD1 now as a read. Uh, write volume. Now I'm going to go down here and take a look at SDF1. That's the volume on my SDF, which is just the two gigabyte SD card plugged in through a USB port. And you can see there that it's um, a 1.92 gigabyte drive and that it is in fact read only. So that's good. That's what I want. That's the way it's set up. Um, if you take a look here at Paladin Toolbox, you'll see it's got um, the ability to create an image. You can select your source. Uh, and you can select the image type and the destination and we'll be doing that in a minute but before we get in there and and, and use Paladin Toolbox what we really want to do is set up um, uh, an experiment uh, to test our hashing abilities. Now this one, I've, I've opened up the forensic apps uh, folder here and I don't know if you saw there but there was a hashing tool. I don't like it. Let's just use DD. DD is a great open source um, uh, Linux tool for uh, acquiring or making images or copies of data sets including a whole hard drive and so we're gonna go down to the command line here and type sudo uh, and then type in the command dcfldd which is our dd um, application and then I'm gonna type if and if is your input file and it equals and if you don't remember where it is you can go back to your device manager there we want to go forward slash devices or dev forward slash SDF and then we want to put in our output file OF our output file and that is equal to forward slash and if you forget where it is you go back and again let's find it um, it's my 32 gigabyte USB drive right and so I want to write to that I'm gonna go through the mount folder right which is uh, media this is forward slash and then the name of it 32 gigabyte underscore xfat forward slash and then I've got that file folder in there called evidence files that's where I want to put it so I'm going to type in evidence underscore files forward slash and then name it and I want to name it 2 gigabyte SD dot DD so the kind of image that I want to do is a DD file I want to hash these so I'm going to do a hash equals MD5 comma and a SHA-1 so I'm going to do MD5 and SHA-1 and then I want to hash log and I'm going to put it in the same directory media slash 32 xfat slash evidence files and we'll call it hashlog.txt. So that should give us, um, if I did it right, let's see, we'll hit enter, and there it goes. Okay, so it is uh, now uh, hashing away. Uh, it's, well, it's probably not hashing yet. It's probably uh, creating the image file, and uh, here we go. That didn't take long. Um, so we've got our DD file, which is the image, and we've got our hash log, and sure enough, it gave us an MD5 and a SHA-1. So we'll want to come back to those in a minute and look at them. But for now, let's do the same thing using the GUI interface uh, for uh, a Paladin Toolkit. All right. And so what we want to do is go up here and click on the Imager tab. Uh, we want to find the device, the source, right, which is, whoops, let's try that again. Um, SDF, yep, that's it, my two gigabyte drive, and then we're gonna call it, give it a case number, we'll call it week two. Um, yeah, week two sounds good, two dash one, how about that? And then our evidence number, uh, we'll just call it today's date, dash dash, whoops, 
number lock. Got to put on your number lock. Okay, 2018-2-21, and then me. I'm the examiner, FG, Frank Griffiths, and the description is be a, a 2 gigabyte SD. All right, uh, we want some good compression. Now let's go with fast compression. Uh, and then we want to give it a name or a label for the subfolder. Uh, we'll call it 2 gigabyte SD, and we want to verify it after creation. Segment size, uh, 2,000 megabytes. Let's, let's actually make it an actual 2 gigabytes, uh, so 2048 bytes or kilobytes, uh, good. All right, and then we need to actually give it an output folder. Yep, uh, let's see. That should work. Let's hope that works. Uh, it is uh, uh, not that one. SDD1, that's where it is. That's my media folder slash, uh, uh, and there it goes. It's working. How about that? Oh, and there it is. If we go to my uh, the, our three, 32 gigabyte XFAT uh, mounted device under media, and we open up the labeled folder that we created, there there's our EX1 file right there. So it's creating a, a forensic copy. Excellent. And it's also creating a log. And so we'll talk about this for a second while it's doing this. We're at 44%, 50%. If you look in the um, live progress bar under the Paladin Tools, dashboard. Uh, so what we did, let's just kind of recap while it's doing this. We created uh, a, a, um, an SD card. And, and, in, and for simulation purposes, that's that's maybe an SD card that we got at a crime scene, at a search warrant, uh, at an incident response. And we took it from the bad guy, and now we're going to image it. And so we brought it back to the computer. We plugged it into our USB reader, but we opened our uh, forensic machine in uh, Linux, which Oh, oh, it's done. Look at that. All right, so look at this. It's we're looking at the um, the log now, and we're going to look at the hash values, and we're going to see what it did. Is it created a hash value of the uh, SD card? So before it even started imaging, it went out and and, and did a hash MD5 and a SHA1, and and you can see the hash. The MD5 is 61CB2F, and right now I've got the SHA1 highlighted D3. Um, there it is, D34E42. And, and so then after it hashed those, then it started creating the file, right? It started creating the forensic copy, the EO1. And we want, and then after it did that, it, it hashed the, the EO1 file to make sure it matched. And sure enough, the SHA-1 matches, 61CB2F, 61CB2F, and, um, I'm sorry, that was the MD5, and the SHA-1, D34E42, yep, matches in both of them. And then after it hashed the image file, it went back and it imaged, or excuse me, it hashed the SD card again, right? To make sure it didn't change the SD card again. So really nice utility Paladin Tools provides. Most of your imaging utilities will do at least two hashes, right? They'll do they'll hash the original evidence and then they'll hash the image file and if they match, they'll say good, good enough, that's great. Well, Paladin Tools is kind of cool. It doesn't extra hash. It goes back and rehashes the original evidence or the SD card one more time to make sure that we haven't changed it. That's where the calculated over data uh, indicator is. All right, so there you go. We've got now um, uh, our original log and then the verify log. Perfect. It's got that there for us. That's fantastic. Um, and we've got our other one, uh, our DD file that we created using uh, the, the D, uh, DLFFDD. So, and the hash log there it shows the same. So, fantastic. We just verified um, that the hashing tool for both of these works. And there you go, all done.